The Thermoprobe TP7D is a petroleum gauging thermometer. It's intrinsically safe for hazardous locations or explosive environments. It uses accurate Platinum RTD technology. It includes an LCD display with half-inch alphanumeric characters. It displays temperature in tenths or hundredths resolution and in Fahrenheit or Celsius units. The new three-button rugged display and interface helps navigate the software features easily. It comes with a backlight for low light conditions, which is automatically activated via a photo switch. The TP7D uses standard AA batteries, and it also has LCD icons that help establish stable temperature, increasing or decreasing temperature, and also has a low battery icon. The TP7D is a spool-based design based on Thermoprobe series of TP7 gauging thermometers. The spool design allows for quick deployment and retrieval of the sensor and cable. The versatile handle design allows for various probe sizes to be stored in the handle with a removable insert. It includes an electric bonding connection to remove any static electricity from the instrument while in the hazardous location. It also includes a spool lock to keep the spool in place while not in use. The probe assembly sensor is made of stainless steel and is available with various weight sizes. This is a, stain, a standard weight. It's also available in extra weight, asphalt weight, and rail car weight sizes. The cable is made from a non-stick material which allows easy cleaning of various products. The cable is available in lengths up to 50 meters. This in particular is a 75 foot example, which is a standard unit. It also comes available with brass markers applied available in every five feet increments or every meter. To use the software on the TP7D, simply turn the unit on by pressing the select button. It will show its software version the type of probe connected, and go immediately to reading temperature. To use the software features, use the up or down arrows. The first selection is log. If the user desires to log the current temperature, go to log and then press select and it will show a log reading of one. You can do additional readings by going back to log and I can do a second log reading. Oh, it has to be stable though. So, oh, go to log. Second log reading, all right? The second selection is C-F. This allows us to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. If you select this feature, it toggles to Celsius. If you go back to it and select it, I get Fahrenheit. Similarly, there's a decimal feature which toggles between tenths and hundredths places in the temperature reading. If I select decimal, I only have one decimal place. If I select it again, I have two decimal places. The fourth selection under the menu is memory. If this is selected, it will display the lowest, the average, and the highest reading since the instrument's been turned on. It also shows the log readings that were taken earlier. You're allowed up to one through four log readings. If you wish to take additional readings, you can select clear log, which will allow you to take new readings. I'll do that now. Then it returns back to temperature. The very last selection in the software menu is calibrate. If this is selected, it will put the instrument in an adjustment mode, which allows the user to get the temperature reading adjusted properly.